What's up, Dog Pound? Welcome to Inside the Film Room. Nathan's going to join by Matt Wilhelm for today's edition as we take a look at the Browns and the Seahawks. And here it is, third and seven, the ball on the Seattle seven, and the Browns looking to get it into the end zone. We've got trips to the right, Terrell Pryor, Gary Barnage, and of course, Taylor Gabriel. You've got Travis Benjamin up here, Duke Johnson, and Johnny is going to be in the shotgun. What is Seattle showing you here pre-snap? they got four down line, and it looks like everybody else is kind of in zone playing the end, yeah, the they end are. zone. Here you see four players over three. So they're going to zone this off. This is what Seattle does so well. They play their zone coverage even down in the red zone. So they've got four over three. They've got a one-on-one. -on -one. He's playing inside man technique. So he's really trying to take away the slant by Benjamin, maybe force a throw, that back shoulder throw on the backside. Barnage goes in motion, doesn't really change the defense because they are in that zone. Look, so he wants to get the ball out now. What do you got? Pryor's locked up with Richard Sherman, nothing on the Double hitch of the here. goal line, and they've got Barnage doubled. They told, Gary Barnage told me after the game they played more man on him than they'd seen on film all year long as they want to make sure he's taken away, and Benjamin's basically double teamed up top as well. What you have here is going to be Duke Johnson for a check down, but they got to feel that they're going to be able to make the tackle before Duke can get in the end zone. The one cardinal rule here is, as a linebacker, you always want to force this guy to run around you to keep your body in between the quarterback and the receiver. And we see Gary Barnage win low to keep the play alive and get into the vision of Johnny Manziel. To be able to cross his face. So as the play breaks down, Johnny gets out of the pocket, he scrambles right. I talked to Gary and he said, I saw him going right, so I was going to come with him this way. But as you see, the linebacker starts to suck up. That leaves Gary alone. Now this safety is going to try to get down here, but he can't get there in time. And it's a great throw if you look at it from where he is outside the hashes back across the field just in time to Barnage, who seals him off for the touchdown. A thing of beauty, big play gear now. Nine touchdowns on the season. That ties the Browns franchise record for most of the season by a tight end. All right, folks, thanks for joining us in the film room. For Matt Wilhelm, I'm Nathan Zagura saying keep it tuned to cleanbrowns.com and the Browns mobile app for the latest on your Browns.